Hey guys, welcome back to Gainesville Homes Daily. Hope everybody had a great weekend. Large list of homes to review today, 14 in total, so we're going to have to fly right through these. I'm probably going to give the condensed version today. The first one's 13709 Current Loop and Heritage Hunt, active adult, 55 plus years of age and older community. Um, this is a semi-detached home, 347,777, three bedrooms, three and a half, or three baths, three full baths, um, 2,074 square feet um, on two levels here. HOA fees $275 a month, two-car garage, carpet throughout, pretty neutral paint throughout the home. Um, I think that one of the things on this one that's going to be the most attractive is the price point. I think it's a good price point for this home. Small yard, as you can see there, 0 .089 um, for the lot size, but that's what you're going to get with a semi-detached um, townhome style house but there's pictures of the amenities great amenities over there 350,000 I think this uh, right under 350,000 I think this is a great price and, and should definitely check it out for those that are looking for this type of community 8849 Yellow Hammer Drive and Meadows at Moore's Farm 624,000 five bedrooms five and a half baths 5,200 square feet it was built in 2005 um, two car garage as you can see here from the front it's vinyl siding on the exterior deck off the back 0.189 is the lot size so uh, a little bit under a quarter acre Hardwood floors throughout it looks like. Some moldings, kitchen with granite countertops, double wall oven, stainless steel appliances, and some upgraded cherry cabinetry. Price tag on this one might be a little bit steep. Um, I'm not sure. 3,493 square feet above grade. I think that it, it is probably pushing the envelope a little bit on the price tag. Not saying they're not going to get it. It looks like it's been upgraded on some of the levels, but I think that that's just a little bit high on that one. So 6926 Walnut Hill Drive is located in Heritage Hunt, active adult community, again, 55 years of age and older. It's a contemporary townhouse, three bedrooms, two and a half baths, 1,684 square feet for 324,900. So about you know 25,000 uh, less than the other one, a little bit less square footage on this. Two levels, one car garage. Um, it's got a large main level master bedroom for those looking for that. Carpet throughout, pretty uh, neutral paint tones. What? Got white cabinetry with white appliances here and the countertops. I can't tell what those are from this picture. It says in a listing that it's close to the clubhouse and the entry gate, which is nice. This is a spectacular clubhouse over there at Heritage Hunt. Definitely advise uh, anybody that's willing to or wanting to move over to a this type of adult community that they check out the club because it's awesome. If you'd like, you can give us a call and we could get you set up to get a tour of the clubhouse. So that's it. Um, I think the price tag, obviously, once again, anything in that three to three fifty range is worth looking at um, because there's you know there's quite a bit out there at Heritage Hunt. So you want to just look at get look at the different style homes, semi detached townhomes, and the detached to figure out what you're gonna what you're gonna want. One four two two four Snickersville Drives in Piedmont, seven hundred twenty four thousand nine 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 fifty one hundred and seventy square feet finished. Four bedrooms, four and a half baths, 0.46 of an acre, so just under a half acre, with 3,400 square feet above grade finished, built in 2003. Um, it claims that it's one of the best lots in Piedmont. So it looks like uh, from the front, nice level flat yard, nice entryway when you come in there with hardwood floors, lots of crown moldings, as you can see. Kitchen, with granite countertops, huge center island, stainless appliances. We'll mix and match. There's some black appliances in there as well. Family room area. Nice tray ceiling there in the master bedroom with some more hardwood floors. Basement area. Rec room. Movie room. Nice patio and deck. Um, screened in porch area as well. Nice huge flat yard. So it is a very nice yard as you can see. It's almost like a football field there. Um, 724,900, actually. Um, I think that, you know, I think that it's got great views um, from the pictures that they're sh showing here. Price tag, I think, with this size lot and square footage seems to be in line with many of the homes that are selling over there with this type of square footage. Um, but I always say that, you know, when you get in the higher range of sales prices here, you have much more to choose from. So um, definitely look at this one, but, you know, there's Plenty of other ones located in Piedmont and, and Dominion Valley and some of the surrounding neighborhoods that are in that range.
One four one eight five Cat Bird is his meadows at Morris Farm, townhome, three bedrooms, three and a half baths, twenty six hundred square feet. So it's a big home here. Stone and vinyl siding, beautiful from the outside. Two car garage, three hundred seventy nine thousand nine hundred. Go through the picks real quick. Hardwood floors when you come in in the entryway. It's a lot of uh, furniture in this home. Granite countertops, black appliances. Built in 2005. I think, you know, it shows okay. I think there's too much furniture in there. Um, so it's hard to get a feeling of the actual space, 2,600 square feet, but it feels like it's a lot smaller than that from the pictures. Um, you know, not jumping up and down about it. I love the, the outside curb appeal, though, from from, uh, from the pick here. Um, and it, it looks like that there is bump out areas throughout 2,600 square feet, 379,900. It's in line with where they've been selling over there at Meadows at Morris Farm. Um, but, you know, some things to, to potentially do on the inside. 15549 Alderbrook Drive in Regency at Dominion Valley. Um, this is the Regency section, so this is the over 55 plus years of age, attached rambler, two bedrooms, two full baths, 495,000, 0.179 of an acre. Uh, it's the expanded San Remo model. Two car garage, as you can see here from the front. Basic kitchen with oak cabinets, white appliances, hardwood floors throughout. You know, and you're paying, you know, some pretty pretty big money when you're buying these homes over here. Not, you know, they're not huge. 2,200 square feet on one level here for almost $500,000. But that's pretty much what you get in any of these um, homes at Regency at Dominion Valley. You're paying for the amenities that are there. 14496 Brinestone Place in Haymarket. Four bedrooms, three and a half baths, just under a quarter acre lot. This is in the Piedmont subdivision. 4,763 square feet, 618,900. There's no pictures to go off of. Um, obviously, it says that it's in a cul-de-sac lot on a half acre. Fenced in, um, it backs up to trees. We don't have any uh, pictures, but there also is a private balcony. It's hard to make a determination on value on this one, but looks good from the outside. 7836 Cedar Branch Drive. This is a Madison at Crescent, Crescent Condominiums, Condo Townhomes. 299,900 with 2,440 square feet. So this is one of the largest units over there. Lots of space. Condo fee is 266 a month, so it's not too bad. Um, nice open floor plan, granite countertops. I've shown a bunch of these. These are very nice because they're, they have a nice um, flow to them. Very wide open. The one thing I will tell you is you have to walk up quite a bit of stairs in these. So if you don't like walking upstairs, then this probably wouldn't be a you know a very good option. But I think the square footage and under three hundred thousand for this type of square footage, um, it's definitely a good option for first time home buyers. One five two two zero Humboldt Bay Court and Hope Hall's Landing four hundred sixty nine thousand nine hundred twenty eight hundred and twenty eight square feet four bedrooms two and a half baths. It's on a cul de sac. Got vinyl siding, two car garage from the outside, 0.197 of an acre. We had a uh, kitchen there, pretty standard kitchen. Um, we have a two story family room. Pictures don't really showcase this house too well. There's the backyard that's fenced in, um, 469,900. I will say, um, the walkout lower levels drywalled and wired ready for finishing touches so the basement hasn't been completely finished. I will tell you that based upon the pictures here, 469900 might be a touch high because there's still some stuff to do on the inside there including finishing off that basement. 7690 Cerro Gordo Drive in the Falkland Farms. This is almost on 10 acres so it's a contemporary style home. Uh, 9.292 acres, 4 bedrooms, 4 full baths, 2 levels. 3,362 square feet for 689,000. Um, so this is a solar home that's located on nine acres. So for those looking to go green and be very energy efficient, um, it features a 400 amp electric. Um, it says that there's some updated baths. We'll look at the pictures here. It's definitely unique with the contemporary style. Kitchen looks to be a little bit older there. Definitely going to be a unique buyer on this one, but the big draw, I think, once again, is you're getting almost 10 acres. Um, I'm going to say that the price tag might be just a step, you know, just a touch high. I mean, because the inside really is going to need some updating. It's got some hardwood floors. Some of the bathrooms have been updated. Um, but at this price tag, I mean, I think that there's some other things out there that I would probably consider before this one.
14108 Snickersville Drive, 480,000. It's a Piedmont detached colonial, four bedrooms, three and a half baths, 480,000. Short sale, 0.157. There's no pictures to look at right yet. Um, just, just know that it is a uh, short sale, subject to third party bank approval, 2,800 square feet. 17037 Loftridge Lane in Piedmont South, 419,000. Detached Colonial, three bedrooms, three and a half baths, 0 0.111 of an acre, just under an eighth of an acre. 2,800 square feet finished, almost 2,000 square feet above grade. It's got a two car garage on the back side of this home. Um, it's very highly sought after parks at Piedmont. And I think this home, you know, anything under 425 uh, moves relatively quick. And I think that this one was probably going to be in the same boat just because there's not much out there in that price range. Um, not a huge house, but very manageable. Good for a first-time home buyer that doesn't have a huge budget. 6037 Dunbrook Terrace, located in Piedmont as well, 500000 It's a P Piedmont patio-style home. Two-car garage, brick front, hardwood floors. This is priced at 500000 for almost 4,000 square feet. Um, Three bedrooms, two full baths, two half baths on just over an eighth of an acre. It's a smaller lot, um, but you are getting a lot of square footage, 2,556 square feet above grade. Um, it's definitely priced towards the, the high end, but I think you know they're going off of the square footage on this one. Finishings are, are pretty decent here on the interior. Um, so definitely one to potentially put on your list. 14352 Verde Place in Piedmont. This is a townhome, three bedrooms, two full baths, two half baths, almost 2,600 square feet, so it's a good size home. And we've reviewed a few other ones with square footage like this, been ranging anywhere from you know 370 to 400. Um, we have a two-car garage, which is nice, and a brick front. Hardwood floors there in the entryway. Nice open floor plan there. Nice, lots of windows, natural light coming through. Kitchen with granite countertops. Um, some black appliances, nice huge open area for the kitchen as well. Tons of space, and that's what you're going to get with the 2600 square foot townhome. The difference between that one and the other one that we reviewed is this one looks like there's more space because there's a lot less furniture. Um, minimalizing is, uh, or minimizing rather, is one of the most important things you can do when you're going to sell your house so people get the feeling of more space. Now you don't want it to be vacant. Uh, but you you do want to uh, you know to stage it, and I think they did a good job here. I think this house shows well. A uh, nice deck out on the backyard and a patio down beneath. Um, wouldn't be surprised if this one moves relatively quick. Backs up to uh, some wood, common wood area there as well, uh, and it's patio backing to the 17th fairway at Piedmont. So that's another nice little draw on that one. If you'd like to schedule showing for anything we've re reviewed today, give us a call, 703-596-0011, including the wonderful solar home that's on nine acres. 703-596-0011, or as always, reach us on the website at GainesvilleHomesDaily.com. Enjoy your day. We'll talk to you tomorrow.